Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of This Day. We're broadcasting this edition live and this gives you an opportunity to participate in our show this evening. We give you this show every Tuesday and Thursday at 21.15 hours and tonight is not any different. The ruling United Party for National Development participated in by-elections in the last couple of weeks and they won all of these by-elections. But this has brought a conversation and this discussion is on whether or not these elections were free and fair. The challenge is that the UPND is being accused of going the way of their former opponents, well, their current opponents anyway, the Patriotic Front. People say that they have become that which they hated. We'll be talking about this tonight on this edition of This Day, alongside the chairperson of the youth in the UPND, Gil Batliswaniso. I'm asking him why the UPND is being accused of this. We talk about the cost of doing business, we talk about the cost of living, we talk about some of the concerns that you have with this UPND government on tonight's edition of this day. My name is Dingindava Jonah Buyoya. Chairperson, thank you so much and welcome to this day. Jonah, thanks very much and uh, I'm humbled to be here. It's been a very long time uh, since you and I had a conversation and it comes at a time that you and your party are celebrating victory. That's because you've won a couple of by-elections in the last few weeks, and these by-elections, according to you, assert your popularity. Let's start from there. Uh, John, I would, I would be very clear with you that uh, a by-election to us at the UPND from opposition, we don't use it as a benchmark for popularity or for the coming general election. It's about boosting the morale of the foot soldiers within the party UPND, maintaining the numbers of our people, the structure within the party, in our polling stations, sections, branches, and the ward, that they're still there, they're still keeping the party all together. You win an election using a figure, not using noise. Okay, you need to know when you go to by election, whom are you touching, whom are you talking to, whom are you delivering the message. It's not about the huge gathering of the people whom you address. It's about the people who are voting at a particular time when there's a by-election. So you use now what we call door-to-door -door campaign, that you can reach out to the people according to the vote of, uh, total voters at that what level and that polling station. So, yes, we are happy as a party. Certain mistakes, certain informations we get from our people, the concerns, and when we come back to the party, political party, UPND, we are able to feed our leaders, the secretary general, the chairman of the party, the vice president, the president himself to say where we went, whether the by election. These are one of the concerns what people are saying on the ground. So, Jonah, we are happy that we scooped this because we worked extra hard, all of us. And if you saw to it, all of us were begging votes from the same people. We don't take advantage of the people because they voted for us in 2021. No, you go back to them again, asking them to support this party, to support President Daka and and his vision. And we have continuously doing that as a party of PND. So, somebody to say why? No, we are very clear that we know where to touch as a party. And Jonah, you know that this political party of PND had been in opposition for so many years. We've got experience of losing and winning. So we understand all the things. So that's why when by-election is called, we take it very serious. We don't underlet anybody because that is politics. We take it serious. We only celebrate after we have won. You say, yes, we have hammered. So I believe that you have then seen that some of the people that participated in the elections that you participated in, the opposition, are saying that these elections were not free and fair, that they didn't feel that they were participating in a democratic process. The Socialist Party have spoken out on this. The Citizens First political party have spoken out on this. And they're saying that this is because you, as the UPND, are using state machinery, you're using your influence as a ruling party to Bully yourself into these positions of power. John, I'll tell you one thing, which UPND today will improve. We don't use a, a government machinery at the end of the day. We don't do that as UPND. 
And I will tell you, Jonah, that we are testing even, as I've said, every biolink which comes now, we are using it as a pilot project to prepare ourselves for the next general election. That's what I was saying. We take things concerned and the people on the ground. Jonah, I'll tell you, these who are complaining today, when I look at them, they participated. And they went even earlier more than us as a party in power to go on the ground. Outside where I was in Indanda, where SP participated. They were, they were there all over. A month before even the announcement of the nomination, they've been there. And I went talking to the people there. We went there. We went back to our people. I've said it's about branches. It's not easy for any political party today to go and convince the members of UPND to vote for. It's not easy. It's not easy. You cannot win the UPND today because we are all over. We are at every polling station. We are there. We are there. UPN is there. You cannot take away from that. These who are crying today have said many times that they went there. You go in a by-election. Two days, you are out in a by-election. Three days, you are not in a, in, in a campaign. Leaders of this political party will not be seen. How do you expect you to win an election? I'm asking Uncle Fred, how do you win an election? Elections are serious. You need to be on the ground, sleep with the people there. Talking to them, they should do few part and parcel of you. Did you do that? The answer is no. And then you want to cry foul. Jonah, Membe, Uncle Membe and SP are too very far to talk about rigging. That's too young, that's too learning. I'm just being honest to them. I know a political party which brings now that this political partner is bringing, that's too very far. I can tell you, Jonah. My brother, uh, uh, my older brother, Mr. Kalaba, you are very far, no matter how. But we have given you space. Go and campaign. You campaign. You get 84 in Wangu, if I'm not mistaken. You campaign. You went there. But you need to do more. You need to have committed members. I'm just trying to educate my colleagues there. Don't use the word of rigging. You're wasting your time. Organize your political part at the grassroots level. Identify volunteers who are able to die with you. You haven't reached that stage. Because they, are just, they haven't read those stage. I tell well, you, well, well, okay, the, just the political look. parties that you're talking about, obviously, uh, are using this very argument against you, that you, as the ruling uh, UPND, have got all these resources at your disposal. And that's why you have the luxury of saying things like organized volunteers before, because you've got state machinery uh, let anyway. Let me tell you, let me tell you, it, number one, you need to understand that it's not easy to convince somebody to vote for you. And I've told you that, we don't take advantage of the people because they voted for us. We have to go back. Some of the people feel they were laughing at me. Why is this one so kneeling down? Those are their bosses. They are voters. I need to kneel down for them hundred times. They are the one who have given us a mandate to run this country. We need to go back to them to ask for that vote, John. We have no choice. There's nothing as station machinery. You can have such machinery, but if you're not on the ground, I'll give an example. We had PF. They had everything. Yeah, but, but I can lost tell you, by elections they, to them, just they, like you are winning I, I, these by-elections. I've, I've told you here, yes, to say, we lost some, we won some. We are in opposition. Okay? It's a commitment of the people you put it in. It's not about money sometimes. It's a commitment and the message you are giving to the people, hope. You can bribe people, all of them. Today we bribe every, okay, let's bribe all this And then generation comes, you lose and So whom are you cheating? We are cheating ourselves as UPN. We have no time for that. I've said we got that experience us as UPN. We got that experience. The only thing we do is to feed the foot soldiers. The rest we go to the people and start asking, telling them what we have done. John, let me share this thing with you, that UPN, first of all, as a political party, we call it it's a rural political party. UPN from the beginning it has been more more strong in the rural areas. In the beginning, even from opposition, you find that wherever you go, you find the members of your in the rural party. We had difficulties to penetrate the urban area like Rusaka and Copper Belt. So even today, I can tell you, that's why Prenda Kahinde, because we understand, he has to take first a lot of resources back to the grassroots, to the rural part. Today, there's infrastructure at every polling station. You can point a school, a house of a teacher, a clinic, Women are able to tell you that we used to experience this challenge, but now we don't have. So they're appreciating at the end of the day, they're able to tell you. They'll tell you, yes, there's hunger now. Tinalima, we did everything, but they're explaining to you 
We cannot blame too much about Akainde, but work on to the foot. What has Akainde done, President Akainde and his team, is to bring man again to every household with a section that they don't want to see his people to die with hunger. So all these things are coming out now in these compounds, in, 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 these, in these areas. People are appreciating what Akainde has done. So we also speak the language of the president to the people they are right there because we are able to say this is what we have done what else do you want us to do as a government so people are moving with us at the same page so the opposition they want you this narrative we have rigged because they want sepans you are wasting your time for me i'm advising you and me john i won't come here because I'm you, I'll guide you because we want yes to do checks and balances. Anybody can become a president. But if you want to use the narrative of rigging, even you know deep down your heart that there was no rigging, you have just lost because you don't have people. Look, SP itself, a lot of those young people who are surrounding Uncle Fred Meme can nearly go and sleep in the bush. The two, three days at your cup. Oh, so that's think, very prejudicial. No, no, no I'm just about, telling you. Yeah, well, the, the, we, we are let's, being, use this, let, let's use this very argument. And, yeah. and, I, and I bet it says a lot about your party, mm. UPND, in this context. Because as we speak today, in one of the areas where the UPND, one of the areas where the UPND got the most votes is from the southern part of the country. It is in southern province in one of the constituencies where one of the wards where there was a by-election I believe that's Lumbo uh, ward in mm. Gwembe mm. in 2021 this socialist party that you speak of had just about 15 votes in, in Gwembe in the entire constituency mm. but in the last by-election which you won in one ward they've gotten over 200 votes and that simply signifies uh, a lot of growth, and it's saying a lot about what people are saying, even in your own strongholds, isn't it? Uh, let, let me tell you, you can't tell so the whole southern province. Why didn't they vote for another political parties in western province? And I'll tell you one thing, and I want to share this even the members of the UPND. We have the structure, the strongest first opposition political party today, I'll tell you, it is PF. It's not even SP. SP, we want... I can use it because me, me, I don't talk about member and SP. For me as a politician, because the narrative, he wants to start talking about him so he can gain sympathy. But I want to tell that we are equal to a task. Well, I don't think that this uh, is no, 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 numbers, no, no, aren't they? No, no, I'm answering to say that. So here, this goes also to the members of your PND. When you look about the people who voted for SP today, those are members of the PF. Okay? I just want to tell you now. Okay? And those who are watching me from the UPND to understand, because as we do points of figures, you because would never one, know this because you would, uh, you don't know uh, who votes for which uh, party. No, no, no. Let me tell you, there's a structure which we had beef across the country. There are those who feel like they're politicians. They want to believe. They want to do politics. When they want to join UPND, as we are saying no. Okay, you get the point, eh? We are saying no, so they want to go somewhere else. So that is a wake-up call where to us as a members of UPND. I'm just giving this information to tell you that me, when I speak, I don't go around. I speak the way it is because I'm on the ground and what is happening. You get the point? So that's the number. That's the number which now the UPN should concentrate. So this number it used to be PF. Now, how does it go there? How do we bring it to the side? So they let I govern. But when you go to the general election, it's another issue. But that's, and uh, I've told you that we cannot, you, we have won these eight by-elections. But I'm telling you that we are not using this benchmark for the general election. I'm telling you here. This assessment you're because making, if I'm this, using, this assessment you're making is not based on anything, uh, no, uh, Mr. No, Chair, Mr. Chair no, no. It's based on what exactly? Because you, you don't know who <laughs> voted no, in this election. listen, you don't just go around, no. The people who vote are your sympathizers whom you're bringing together at a structure level. You get the point, and the sympath will just go there. It's a structure itself which votes, okay? And then the sympath now it will come in bit by bit. First of all, you need to have your own members as a political party. I don't just go in a by-election, I energy, but no, by UPN, no. I need to follow who is a branch chairman, who is a youth chairman branch, who is your section chairman here. Those are members now, you put them, and their responsibility now is to reach out now to you, Jonah, who is just a voter. How about Jonah? Support any corner corner. So they'll quarantine you so that you go together and go and vote. That's how it is. That's how Ndale it is. When they live in Dali. That's what you use. So it's a structure first. So there we know. 
that first of all is to have a lot to do because even us we know where to touch, who to go. Others are using, if you look about the people who voted, it's not almost 20, uh, 90%. The voter upper so the others say, I never vote voter vote and the first table. But when general election comes, that's when you're going to see that. We'll talk, about that. We'll, talk about that. we'll talk about that shortly because I want us to also talk to people that have participated in these elections. And that's why on phone we have the Citizens First President, Ooh. Harry Kalaba, who's joining us via phone. Thank you so much, Mr. President, for talking to us. We've, uh, we've got Mr. Gilbert Liswani. So he is the youth chairman of the UPND. And you have had concerns about this last election and are pointing fingers at the UPND. Uh, what do you have to say about the last elections? Ideally, we're supposed to have on phone the Citizens First President, Harry Kalawa, who is supposed to join us and talk to us about these last eight by elections that were scooped by the UPND. They've challenged these elections and argue that they've not been free and fair. Mr. Kalawa, uh, we, we would like you to contribute on the program. We've given you the opportunity to speak directly with the youth chairman of the UPND. And I understand that you are on phone, so you can go ahead. Uh, thank you very much, uh, 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 my brother, and uh, good evening, uh, uh, Liswaniso. Uh, Jonah, it's, uh, I'm following the program and uh, very closely uh, listening to, to Liswaniso. First of all, I must say that uh, Comrade Liswaniso is uh, running away from reality, like uh, most of the leaders in the UPND. Um, but I'm glad for one fact. Uh, he acknowledges that uh, they are not using the by-election as a litmus test in terms of their popularity. Because clearly, if they were using it as a litmus test for their popularity, then they're getting it wrong. I think on the ground, uh, UPND has been rejected. Clearly rejected. And so UPND is relying heavily. Like in Chama and uh, Luangwa, where the Citizens Fest was participating, uh, there was huge violence that was uh, in uh, Chama. We had uh, violence that has never been seen before in uh, Feira in Luangwa, where people were breaking each other's legs. All this was being used in order to scare away voters. I don't think that is the way the UPN is going to maintain its uh, strength. We had district commissioners coming from uh, Isoka, uh, Nakonde, uh, Chama, we had over 28 vehicles, I counted them, over 28 vehicles. Government uh, from the Minister of Health, Agriculture, Community Development, they were all uh, in uh, Chama North for the UPND to get that vote. The UPND was distributing relief mail uh, to, to voters in Luangwa. They could not distribute in other parts of Chama North constituency, but only where the elections were happening. And this is where it is sad, because the Electoral Commission of Zambia uh, has chosen silence in all this, and the UPND is able to claim victory. For me, I'll tell you without a fact that we are not even worried, nor are we concerned about the rankings of the UPND, because as you've clearly said, Jonah, uh, ruling parties will win uh, during these uh, by-elections, because they will use the arrogance of being in, uh, in government. But when the general elections come, they will, they will suffer defeat, a huge defeat, especially for the UPND, which has only been in government for the last almost three years. Why are they relying heavily on handouts? Why are they relying heavily on handout methods in order to win elections? I think that is not the way it should be. We in the Citizens First, uh, working with the United Quash Alliance, have tried to be very objective in the way we do things. We would have easily congratulated the UPND if we saw that they were, the elections were free and fair. But we, we have not done that because we understand that the UPND is relying heavily on these handouts. They're relying heavily on undermining the electoral code of conduct for them to win elections. So the nine, the eight elections they have won, they have actually lost. Because if you see the numbers and the differences, given the kind of manpower they are putting, given the vote buying that they're doing, clearly the UPND is on its way out. And this one is why I would want you to be very uh, brave and honest, uh, as I've known you. 
to really advise your, uh, your leaders that if they continue on that trajectory, they're not going anywhere. And I want to believe that you'll be an envoy Mr. of us in the opposition Mr. Kalawa, to tell your leaders Mr. Kalawa, that they're not going anywhere. Mr. Kalawa, you've been following the program. And we've got the opportunity to have you on now because Mr. Iswaniso here is of the considered view that you've lost these elections because you, you're very far from being a solid uh, political party. And I'm using verbatim what he said, that you're, ve you're very far, you know, from contending an election like this one against a, a big political party like the UPND. And you're using uh, election malpractice and rigging as an excuse for your failures to mobilize people on the ground. Look at all, John. I, I think Lusaniso will recall himself. Uh, a comment this will recall himself when he was the European in position. Comment, uh, we can barely hear you, Mr. Kalawa. We can, we can barely hear you. When it came, the young someone does. At the end of the day, the fact is, whatever he wants to say on X, but you think he's losing the election. Because I've lost it with speed. This is so prices. So well, apologize for that. I'm struggling to hear what he's saying. I can, I can barely hear. I can barely hear what Mr. Kalawa is saying, but... Uh, it, one of the things I can pick from the very last sentence he says is one thing for sure, is that the UPND is losing the election mm -hmm. in 2026. But he has basically responded to some of the things you were saying and it, highlighted it, some of the John, examples of why they feel that there's concern with these elections where they participate. Uh, John, I want to be very category to my elder brother, Prenti Kalava, to say that uh, you cannot match with President Akainde Chilema and the party UPND where we have reached here. I'm just being honest to my colleagues in the opposition. It's not easy. You're being honest or arrogant? No, no, no. There's nothing. Like, no, I'm just being giving them the reality on the ground. Mobilizing a political party at a branch level and one level is different. They're not doing that. They're only talking on the radio stations, social media. Social media moves with the people at the grassroots level. We move them together. Social media comes just to help you. The issue is to follow people. You uh, sound very familiar. You know, let you me know tell, Mr. Let, you know, let Mr. Me tell, Mr. Uh, you sound, you, you sound very there. familiar because this is, let me tell this you. is quite what the PF sounded let, like no, no, uh, in no, 2021. Let me, let me tell you. They told you this let about, me, about, you, you. about your crusade let, on let, social let media. Let me tell you. I've said, first of all, is to go to the people at the grass level. The social media comes in to beef up what we have done. That's what they were telling you. No, no, listen. No, no. The PF were telling us to say we don't have any people at the grassroots level. They were saying just uh, could be You get the point. But me, I'm telling that you. That sounds now, like what you're what you're telling them. For me, I'll tell that the SP Bwanakarava cannot beat UP in 2026. I can bet with them even here. Okay, I can bet with every 2026. You are not coming there. But when you ask these political parties, Uka we are making a lot of noise. Where Mr. Kalava is, but they were making a lot of noise. But now disappointed, they thought they may win these elections but we have beaten them. And I've told you that for us as UPND, when we go to this by is to boost the morale and check our structures, if that's true there. And then we looked about other mistakes which we make within our own political party, and then we put spanner there, and then for the preparation for 2026. I'm trying to, to give this information to people. So when I'm saying we're not using for benchmark, it's true, because ours, we are focusing for 2026 general election. How do we win it? SP is doing it for 2031, and I want to tell you, even us as UPND, whatever we are doing today, it's not about 2026. We are focusing on 2031. Let's wind up election. with Mr. Kalawa. Was, mm. yeah, yes, I'm let's, just, wind up, let's wind up with him, because okay. we've got him back on the phone, and I hope that the audio is going to be much better. Mr. Kalawa, you can wind up your thoughts, because we had a break mm. in transmission, which we apologize for, but we are giving you the opportunity to wind up.
unfortunately we have lost him so thank you so much for making that contribution but you see what you're saying also now begins to build up because in any case even for yourselves at, as the UPND mm. the bigger picture is the general election which is just coming up it's mm. only a couple of years away from now mm. but it comes at a time when reality is dawning on you as the UPND that you know govern governing this country seems to be keeping you very busy and it's not as easy as you seem to have thought the cost of doing business in the country has gone up the cost of living in the country has gone up the cost of energy in the country has gone up the energy that whose cost has gone up is barely there and uh, for a lot of people watching now are probably watching through their mobile devices because they don't have electricity and these are the very things that you as these are the very things that you as the UPND used as a weapon against your predecessors the patriotic front and yet here we are things don't look better than they did when you came in. And I'll, I'll tell you this, uh, Jordan, before I even answer that question first, is to tell that uh, all these political parties today who have gathered here, SP, everything, these people, they fought European when we were in opposition. All of them, okay, they supported APF and Ed Galongo. They had the same song. When we talk about the DC, because that's what Kalava, our president was doing when he was in PF, he thinks even us, we can do the same. And I'm shocked that we are winning this election using our own mouth and convincing the people at the grassroots level. And I've told you in my preamble that people acknowledging what we have done facing two and a half years, what our kind has done to them. We have challenges, yes, today in a lot nation. of challenges. Ma ma yes. Mr. We, ha we have acknowledged the challenges, all of us. And what it makes you to be understanding that because everybody is checking on European, which we are happy also as a party today. Everybody is talking about UPND, is talking about Prendaka and HLM, is criticizing every day, which makes we as a party in government not to sleep but to attend to the challenges of the people of Zambia for the first time. And we are allowing that. We are listening to the people, and these challenges, Prendaka Inde is he has consistent to say we are dealing with these matters all of them step by step. We cannot tell us because there's a general election in 2026 we fear because we want to please, you know. We want to deal with these matters permanently. The issue of drought, you cannot blame it to Akainde each them. But the issue here now is about learning now all of us. How do we deal with these things? And he has told us, Prince Akainde has told us, this drought is head on now. How do we deal with it? So the next time when we have it, we don't go in this situation. That's why investment... Is, hey, hang on, from there, John, I know you want to ask as many questions. For me, what I want is people to listen, those who we are asking on our behalf, that this government is committed, challenges all of us we know. Prenta Kainde has accepted, and we have seen that leaders ourselves as UPND, we come to this devastation to come and face the people. They talk what they feel like they can talk, what we are feeling, and also we are telling them that we are doing these things step by step. The things which we have done in the difficult conditions, but the certain things we haven't done, we have given the mandate of dealing with this nation for five years, one team which have given to us. So give us an opportunity to save you as we are going. We will see 2026 and then you can judge us. Either you want to continue with UPND or not, but I want to assure you that the people of Zambia, they still have confidence on the kind of because of certain things which has done within two and a half years. It's very interesting that you say that because a lot of the challenges that uh, the country is experiencing today are challenges that President Tagainde Hejilema, the president of the country and the president of the UPND, said were not going to be very difficult to, to fix. The president said that the lack of the electricity in the country through experiences like load shedding and increasing the cost of uh, electricity while there's load shedding is foolishness. That Those were his exact words mm -hmm. when he spoke uh, during a radio interview. Mm -hmm. I know you know what's going on in the country. I know you've seen the news mm -hmm. on what the Energy Regulation Board has announced. Mm -hmm. But this is exactly what the UPND is doing. When you talk about the drought situation, mm. the last time that the country experienced uh, load shedding to the extent of what we are seeing today was because of the of a drought, mm. a drought with the very same name as the drought we are experiencing now, and these are the effects of El Nino. Wow. Your party, the UPND, did not acknowledge these situations, but, but you want the whole country to acknowledge now because uh, you are in power. Uh, and let me say this: if you if you you follow about the drought which happened twenty eighteen. 2019, if I'm not mistaken, and to the sort of different, 
as a fact of the matter. You should understand that. It's totally, it's totally different. To the resulting point. effect is the same. Yes, but the issue is, are we committed as a party or the government to ensure that we tackle this matter? The answer is yes. We have known there's a problem now, and we need to deal with it. No, and that's the problem, uh, that uh, you're uh, only uh, finding uh, out about no, this no, problem no, no, now. No, 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 no. The issue is about investment at the end of the day. You understand this country had a lot of debts at the end of the day. Certain investment, you cannot do it because you need money at the end of the day. You need to pay back the loan which you get. That's government looking to it. So we have no choice. But the issue here we have seen, this government committed in terms of solar system to this nation that these things, if tomorrow comes, we do with it permanently. We are not going to please the Zambian people because we are scared of the general election. No. Let's deal with these matters squarely, step by step, all of them, collectively, all of us as a nation, the people of Zambia. That's what we want to hear. Let's not politicize or politicking. Mm. Now, when you are dealing with the matters which is affecting all of the lives of the people, a Baba Man, a Saloon, Wabuchali, a Carpentry, and everything, let's look at the bigger picture now. And that's what the mind of President Lakainde is now. Yes, we can do politicking, we can politicize, but at the end of the day, this government now is to tackle this issue squarely so to ensure that this is a difficult year. John, I want just to admit here, all of us, it's a difficult year for this country. But the government, the leadership of Renda Kainde and his team, they are committed to ensure that its people, they're satisfied with their leadership and they're tackling these matters which are affecting us. Mr. Samiso, is it fair for you as the UPND, for you as the chairman of the UPND to sit in, in, in that chair mm. and gaslight the people of this country uh, for, for seeking accountability from you as politicians mm. for the things you said to the people of this country and when they seek accountability, you accuse them of politicking? Is it really fair for you let, to do that? Let, let me say this again, that I've said in my prayer, in my prayer I said, the Zambian people today, they are talking. They are pushing the agenda of development. They are pushing the Kainde Shima to respond to their needs every day. No one is being beaten. In the markets, people are talking, the high cost of living, they are talking whatever they are talking. And they will tell you that Kainde should deal with the, the issue of cost of living. Yes, has given us free education. Yes, we can see there is clinics. Yes, we can see there is water. But let's deal with the issue of this hunger. And you have seen the president also even declaring a set of emissions to the hunger in this country. Meaning we are committed to deal with these matters, to say that the people should not die. To dare at least 800 quarters going to a place in a house, when you go in this community, they are doing that, the social welfare, they are busy, they are getting these names of every woman, every, so to ensure that people should not go home hungry. So this period is a difficult period, especially to the women who feed us. It's a difficult a situation which we understand even us as a party in government. So we are not going to politicize. Yes, people, but at the end of the day, those who want to politicize to say, do this, do this. But the leadership should sit to look at a long-term plan that not next year, the other year, we don't talk about the same issue again. We need to deal with this matter permanently. That's the way UPND is working. That should but have been the plan of the UPND from scratch. No, no. From, that, was, that was the plan of the UPND well, from uh, scratch, if right? I just, just from there first. Okay, let's talk about first this uh, the bag of minimum which is expensive. Let's talk about it first of all in that way. President Kainde last year appealed to the Zambian people to go and till the land. Inputs were given, fertility was given, and the people of Zambia responded very well across the country. But unfortunately, drought comes in. You get the point? The people of Zambia responded to the call of President Kainde Chilem. Imagine if there was no drought. I don't think we can talk about the issue. But well, let's the imagine that the drought is there. And now, is, the, now the let, drought imagine, is there. Let's now. imagine that the drought yes. is there and there is a, a crisis, an energy crisis, mm -hmm. an energy crisis that the president acknowledges. Mm -hmm. People are experiencing up to eight, at least mm -hmm. eight hours of no electricity every day. Mm -hmm. And with his own mouth, the president, before becoming president, says it is foolish for you to increase tariffs while there's Lord shedding. And your government comes back and does the same thing. I mean, no. and, and let's just do it just even from there. So when you promise the people of Zambia, you are tackling issue Jonah step by step. We promised a lot of promises to the people of Zambia. In one term, in the second term. You are dealing with these things step by step, whatever we promised the people of Zambia. I don't think just we inform government just from there and then everything, no. There should be production at the end of the day. They should be working on to it. 
There are long-term things. Now, the here is about fixing the problem. So when you are fixing the problem, there are challenges which will come in the way when you are fixing this problem. I think let's talk about, I'm just using the, the same words they are using to me, but we promised you yes. So, but give us time we deal with this matter. Do you Today, the issue of drought, this is the reality. No matter how you're going to talk about it, Jonah, no matter what, we depend on water, all of us. You get the point. But what about but increasing the electricity day, tariffs? Let, what does that have to do with water? We, 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 we have a challenge, first of all. If they have increased, we look into it. What has made us to increase, first of all? You, you, you get the point. We need to talk about all those issues. What has made So we, we ask now the technicians to come and explain here. Only when it suits you as the UP. It's not about suiting us. It's about dealing with the matter. So the technicians now, you, you call them, they come, they explain why. Me, I'm a politician here. I'm just talking about basic things which affect us in the compound. Well, the reason why you are held yes. accountable because it's you who yeah, come uh, to, uh, make, uh, the, to no, make no, the promises. No, no, there's no problem. Yes, we make promises, yes, and we are committed. I know... President and his team are committed to deal with these matters, and I can assure you these matters are dead. If we have dealt with dealing with the data structuring, that's still dealing with it. If we have dealt with the free education, if we are dealing with it's to do with health matters, if we are dealing with it's to do all these things will be dealt with. It is step by step. I know we are too much expectant, all of us, but we are learning a lesson, all of us, that we have been doing the same thing because of scared that there will be election in 2026. No. The Zambian people today, their responsibility is to push Prendaka in the corner to respond to their needs, is to push UPND on the corner, and which all of us have admitted as a party, and we have said, let's listen what people are saying on the ground. Why if I do love it? Why if I end up so? Then we'll think about us. What are the reasons? All of us, we know. This country, all of Jonah, you know that it was planted, all of us. There's a lot of dates. Now, Akainde is dealing with those matters for us to have now food on the table. So a challenge has come, but we have no choice. Collectively, all of us, those who are getting credit, who's supposed to pay? It's us, Zambian people. Who's supposed to pay? So let's fix that bit by bit and solving this some of the problems. The big projects today, you have heard the president, I was telling the nation to say that certain projects now, let's first stop. Let's deal first with the food to our people. Let them eat. This year is a difficult year, meaning he's committed. What kind of a president do you want today? He's committed. But we're not stopping the opposition elder. Kalaba, SP, not to check on your PND. Continue talking, because it's your stakeholders at the end of the day in terms of the limit of this nation. You speak, hammer us in all corners, but we are not going to be swayed, because for you, you know that you want votes, but as the focus, it is our bosses, the same voters. Are we doing a right thing? Do you just want to please them? Because and then after two years again, we go back to the same problem. I think that one, Prenda Kainde has refused. When we deal with the matter, we say this one, we have dealt with it. What is next? That's how we're supposed to move as a nation. When you look at the issues that are being brought forward, isn't it, and why does it appear that a lot of the issues that are being brought before the UPND experience more talking than action? And I'll cite examples. If the highest office in the land assigns a permanent secretary on appointment that you must reveal within the next three months the pricing mechanism of fuel in the country because this is unsustainable. That has not happened since the new PS came into office. The president who had a solution to the energy situation in the country and outrightly spoke against increasing electricity tariffs in the midst of load shedding watches as this is happening. Shouldn't people demand accountability that you say more than you do? as the UPND? First of all, uh, President Kainde believes on working together, giving responsibility to each and everybody. That's number one. Uh, he doesn't want to work alone, but he wants everybody to participate, put in your effort and deliver to the people of Zambia. If there are certain mistakes within these institutions who are not at the it's a police, when the president speaks, becomes a police. Now we are coming in also as a party because we suffer, we suffer the attack. Uh, it's about the president and the party who are being attacked every day, day in and day out. So those who have been given the responsibility to ensure that they work around these matters, they should be also even seen to be serious also to help the president. So, yes, we may have such people should be asking these questions. We haven't denied as a party in government that people should not speak. No, we are hearing 
uh, church leaders, civil organization, uh, opposition, they're speaking them. And then we listen, where they make a point, we tick to say there they have scored. Let's deal with that matter because it represents the people of Zambia at the grassroots level. We agree. John, we don't live in, in heaven as European. We live together. The same experience we are having of blood shedding eight hours. We have it also as European members. The same cost of living. We have it also as there's no shop for European. There's no shop for opposition. We are living the same, all of us. It's a challenge. But we acknowledge the, also the steps which Brenda Kaind is taking to the, to, uh, with his team to ensure that all these challenges we are facing are being reduced. I know you are putting it on spot. You are pushing this government. You are pushing a guy on the, on the corner. But that's what I've said again. We are not going to please the Zambian people. You gave us a mandate to run this country, do what is right. But in that process, there will be casualties sometimes, which will injure collectively all of us. But at the end of the day, we'll see the light. That's how we are dealing with these matters. And we won't shy away to come on this TV station, radio station, to face the Zambian people, give us the mandate. We'll come and we explain. Today, we haven't even explained what we have done. We have told you that when you go to the compounds, they tell us you have done free education in Gilbert, so we are happy we are about it. You have done partial withdrawal. We are happy about the retirees. Some of them, the, we are happy about it. the rule of law. It has come. We are happy. About, there's no cadarism. We are happy. There's less violence now. At least we are able to see what is happening. We are happy. But Chapamara, President Akaindi has been going around. He was first of all last year. You saw him going in Matero in Kanyama, where people even bring Pamela's shouting in Jala. A president facing people direct and he said, acknowledge it's a fair complaint you have. Let me work on to it. So what kind of a prayer do we need? He's not running away. Today you have seen leaders of European D, Dr. Msoko Twani, going and answering at uh, that was Pamons, answering questions from the people, explaining how this government is trying by all means to bring this economy to the level of an in India, Zambia, at the grassroots level to appreciate. This is the government of European. Do you think that you have been trying, like you have been, uh, like you've put it here, but maybe the challenge is that you're failing in your, in your trying, that you're mm -hmm. trying so much, but we, we are not failing. We found this country, it was damaged. We're not failing. Yeah. It was damaged. That, that says that all of us, we knew even from opposition. Do you think that it's better now? We, in fact, let me tell you, we have tried our best. Do you think that the yes, country I think, is yes, better? Yes, I think what, what's so. What's better? The issue here, I've told you already, that it, there are certain things which we have done, and also there's other issues which the people have I'm giving you the been. opportunity to, to highlight the things yes, that you have done. What, no, no, what's no, no. First, I've, I've told you, first of all, if you talk about first the free education, you tell me, so instance, what is a free education? But I'll tell you that it's a weapon to us as a nation. In 10 years from now, there will be a lot of innovation among the young people now to put food on the table. That's good, but what you, you, about, you get the what point, about eh? fixing the uh, economic uh, challenges no, no, no. that the country I, I, is experiencing? I'm, I'm coming there. I'm just saying what we have done so far. And I've told you that to say, apart from what we have done, we have scored. There's other issues now where everybody's talking about the high cost of living, which now the president now said, let's tackle this matter now, collectively all of us. That's what I was telling to say. If all of us, we took the land, the way we took the land, there was rains and everything. I don't think today we can talk about it. But the challenge has come to you, PND. And leadership, for me, the way I know it, comes with challenges. Leadership is about solving problems. So give us an opportunity to solve this problem of hunger. Do you, do you, do you feel you, that you, you the, get only, the, point. the only leadership thing that you have made better is free access uh, no, no, to no, education? No, no, because no. I'm giving you the opportunity no, no, to uh, highlight uh, those so, things. So, so, uh, I, I was giving you, I, I, I'm just giving all these things. When you talk about free education, yes, we talk about the same CDF. To you, it is nothing in Osaka here. But today I can tell you, go to most of these rural parts across the country. There is a clinic. A woman who used to walk three, uh, five, I mean, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers, he can walk now one kilometers. A woman today, a, a, a young person, a man, Bamula Sanyelet, 15 years since Bamula Sanyelet. To you and you are saying in Osaka, it is nothing. But in that rural part, it's something that's changed his life. In the rural part, there was no bridge. One at a time, young person went to school. Today, they're able to go to school, they're crossing. Well, that's not a true representation. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Day, let, day, let me tell you, let me tell you, Jonah. For me, I always ask you that when we go to these areas, help us, you as journalists, to go around the country and check and bring all these things. All of you, check us what we have done. And I'm giving this feedback to you. 
based on what we have done in a, second, in a two and a half years, including the CDF. When you talk about skills and training, 156 constituencies, the young people today, they are plumbers, they are welders, they are drivers. To you and you stay in Osaka, it is nothing, but it's changing the life of somebody there, that they're participating in economic infrastructure within those areas. I'm just giving these examples to you, so that you understand that to us here, basic things, basic things, small, small things, that's what the people of Zambia wants. When you talk about big capital uh, activities now, it comes to the government. But these small things I'm talking to you, John, that's why we live in the village. It gives something at the end of the day. Even today you go to Mrs., you provide security for them, you provide a clinic for them, a nurse is there, a doctor is there. It's okay for us. Mwana ainda kuskulu, kusenda mzova. It's okay because we know now this country ought to change. If we don't appreciate free education, John, then we are doomed as a nation. For us who are in politics today, a lot of young people haven't gone to school. When there is the opportunity of employment, they are saying, you pay and you are to school. Do you want these things to continue every day? No, we don't want that. Mm. We, need to, we need to end that one. And John, that is the vision of the president. When the country, a lot of them are knowledgeable, they are educated. They won't only line up to go to like to look for color uh, jobs, but they are, have now to have something because now they are able to know, they are able to do things on their own, they create employment on their own. This the government of UBS trying to do. And, and this is permanent thing. And I, and when I you talk about a, a woman in a market who was selling the capital of 300 kwacha, here is a card that is saying, he pass a five kwacha and pass a ten kwacha. Today, ten kwacha are passive. That woman of 200 kwacha capital is selling, no man harassing. Wouldn't you equate, Mr. Liswani, so that five kwacha, that ten kwacha, to the to be going towards, it's it's basically almost work done, uh, let me finish, mm. almost work done equals to zero because they have to now convert that because for somebody to live a decent life, especially if they're here in Lusaka, a family now has to spend about 10,000 kwacha for a family of five and that's the basic cost of living, which you agreed with as the UPND when you were in opposition. The macroeconomic indicators are just not working in your favor. And you, you fail to point at any economic intervention uh, from an economic political party, the UPND, with an economist as a president, with one of the major campaign messages being fixing the economy. But you. First of all. You, you are because it's probably because you are not able to point at anything. Let in the me economy. tell you, first of all, uh, dealing with the economy is not an event, it's a process. That's the answer I'll give you. So what? Uh, I'm just giving that answer for those because I'm not an economist, first of all. But for me, the basic things which we know within the compound, it's, it's a process to us to appreciate what government has done in terms of the economy to be better or also to appreciate at the grassroots. It's a process on its own. For us in the compound, what we believe about the economy is when I've got a food that year, Nakut, the economy is okay. Nasinad, the economy is It's a language we are using in the compound to show that we as UPND, we are there checking them, then we take the message back to the president. So, but at the end of the day, it's not an event, it's a process, so you know what it can even be, the Wopuza and Zatman technocrats to work around that to ensure that the economy we're talking about comes better at the end of the day. It, it, it so so do, you, do, do you acknowledge that so, the economy, so, the economy of the person that the, the economy of the person that you are talking about in the compound is worse that today let, than it was when you came to Let office. me tell you, you cannot say it is worse or what. We are managing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you that everybody is talking about Stikwanisa. You get the point. So and, we are, and, and, and we are we are acknowledging everybody. The same economy we talk about. We talked about when we were in opposition. If the economy was doing better when we were in opposition, why did the people remove the PF? Let's be just see, honest one another. It was a complaint, but that because there were a lot of things which were happening. You are telling me about that woman who is saving 10 quarts till this nothing. But go and ask the same woman today to say, do you need this person to come? But I'll tell you no. Because the money was just going every day, 20 quarts. If you spend 200 quarts, 300 quarts per week, it goes just to somebody who don't have a shop. But you can save that 300 quarts today. Can you? So to can you, you and save me. it with the high cost of electricity? No, yes. The high cost of but, 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 but I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this. They is able to save. That 300 kwacha in terms of was ngalgamba ti vintuwa inda pamwamba meaning ngarepi inda pamwamba right ngaguli some business so I mean if you have a business second inda pamwamba so at least it's saving no one is getting that money 
kuenda kumpoka msimai by force is saving that man so to you and me is nothing but when you go to that woman you go to that orphan where ali parank where a kada na buta and the parank atenganda by free but today that person now is saving that man so you can see that oh, it can it's a big discussion at the end of the day these are the things which we have done but again we are say we are still committed Brenda Kainde is committed. He's aware the challenges of the people. He understands what we are going through. He understands that this country does not Let's now fix these things. But we know again that everybody wants it today, but the things don't work in that way. Let's give him that opportunity and chance as he is fixing these things. And again, I'll use this platform say, as he is doing all these things, also I'm telling the people of Zambia, don't keep quiet, continue talking so that we don't sleep. And we are happy as a party. The president is happy because Zambian people are speaking freely. It's not about politicians, but people in the bus are talking, questioning UPND where we are failing, meaning we are not sleeping. Do you we are coming here, we are questioning us all these questions. Some questions have answered, certain members have not answered, but certain things, those who are listening, the technicals are get to say, okay, these are the things we need to do, meaning we are answerable to the people of Zambia. Do you think that the reason why yeah, or do you, do you think that what's going on with your party as the UPND wh while you're in government is a, a lesson for opposition political parties to gauge what they tell the people be, they will do when, when they come into office, if. not to bite more than they can chew and to maintain to the basic principles of reality to promise only what you can achieve? The issue is every political party would want, want to achieve more. We we'll promise, because whatever we promise the people of Zambia, it comes from the people themselves, Jonah. No political party just comes. These things, information, everything, comes from the people themselves. When a councillor stands, I'll give an example. People tell me, where are here, where we are, what we want, we want a clinic. Here where we want, we want this road to be done, a gravel. They'll tell you that. So when you go back, in terms of asking what name, you speak the same language of the people what they want. So when you have won now, it is your duty now to rob to the government, to the council, to come and do that work at where you promise the people. If they want boreholes, we have said every village should be given boreholes, should be water, clean water. And it's a mandate of a political party, which is in government, which promised well, the people have been talking about water in that area. Let's give them. So, the government will rob for money. The area council, the area member of parliament, the minister himself, the president himself said, can we give the people what? That's the way we work. So we work with the information of the people themselves at the grassroots level. And we'll continue promising and implementing those we can. All the prom if I said if we made 20 promises, I don't think we can do 20 promises in two years. No, you have given us a mandate of five years. So if in 20 we have done seven, eight promises we have implemented. We have a right to go back to the people of Zambia to ask for a second term again, that we can able to do another eight again if you give us another chance. That's All the right. way we work we'll as a political break. parties. We'll, we'll take a very short break, Mr. Deswani. So when we come back, we give you the opportunity to talk to our guest uh, very briefly. If you've got any question, you can call us on the number that is on your TV screen and you can ask your question or make your contribution. You're watching this live edition of This Day. Perspective brings about fresh thinking. Your perspective will either become your prison or your passport. So it's not what you look at that matters, but how you see it. Always look with fresh eyes. Vatra, hydrate, celebrate. As a young mom, you're not always sure that you're doing it right. 
Choosing the best baby care products for your child can sometimes be difficult. So I asked a pediatric nurse for advice, and she recommended BabyMed. Hypoallergenic skincare products, specially formulated to suit my baby's fragile and sensitive skin. A complete range of products that makes every baby bath time a moment of tenderness and well-being. BabyMed, his first expert skincare. You're watching this day, a live edition of this day tonight, and we're hosting the youth chairperson of the United Party for National Development, Gilbert Liswani. So halfway through their mandate as a political party, are you satisfied with the work they're doing, especially dealing with the economic challenges that the country is experiencing? We've got a call from Alik Chanda from Kapirimposhi, who's joining us via audio call. Thank you so much for joining us on tonight's edition of this day. You can talk to the youth chairperson. Uh, and ask him your question or make your contribution, Alec. Good evening, Jonah. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, uh, youth chairman. Good evening, Alec. Yeah, uh, I want to contribute. Monga kungani yema kamba yama commanders guti kuri bema commanders wameni watenga drama these days. Muma stations. Go pa Hilo Stadium, but we find that pa lima commanders wame na wankara kutumi pa ndo kuja. Depe tima ekinga munga esete tichoke la kutusaka kubwera kunu kwa ato. So we find that ma commanders, ma moto ka ikarunga, ndrama zefe vatenga. And then the other thing, uh, nezina mvela kakripu kewa kamba kakuti kurunda ma light. Whereby, kuri kwa dishading, nifu nituwa mene menzo kamba pa president. So, tenzo sa expect wa president kuchosa kwa jama middleman pakati kwa tambe kugura fio yo chipa. Just what we want from UPNT government. We are not bitter. Tunacheko wa uza chepe vazo wana. Fertilizer ni odula munga isa tiri ma tomatoes. You find that... Uh, if it tries at Tigula, ni 1,000 plus. Uh, of course, we are, we are to promise that we have 250 if it tries. We have to if it tries at 8. But some of us still own a if it tries. Also, if we have a government, it's a very important thing to do. We have to do it. 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 We have so, but so we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your feedback. You can respond, Alec. We will have another caller, but you can go ahead. And yeah. No, thank you very much, Alec. The concern which you have raised, I think most of them we have discussed here came from you, questioning us. Uh, is thinking about the fertilizer, and we saw it last year that a lot of farmers last year were given fertilizer and inputs and everywhere. We saw it ourselves. And personally, I was in, in Kawa, I still remember, in the, one of the depots, how people were getting fertilizer. I saw it myself. Yes, you, you may demand whatever you want, but again, it should be reality. Are you a farmer? Are you able to? I, you didn't get that thing. But if you ask all the farmers when you go this side, I think most of them were given fair trials. But if you feel like there's things who haven't done, I've, I've heard what you've said. Secondly, the issue of commanders, for me, is the heroes a station. Why do you go to Kuala Station type of heroes? Why can't you go to bus stations? And I've said, contravening is costing all of us. So yourself, Wachanda, you know the station in Kuala Kutukwinda City. You know Kukwela in Kutukwinda Tower. You know Kukwela in Kurumumba. Why do you want to go and contravene? So when you're contravening, the same people are leaving those bus drivers 
at Rumumba Millennium. They send their own people to go and stop you there. So when they stop you now, they're wasting money from you. This, uh, this is the answer I'm giving. But that's the, still lawlessness. Let me, the, it's the lawless. should be let, let me tell you, the that. issue is this. I've said many times. John, I want to tell you this. Because of lawlessness in this country, today, police are all over in the Freedom Way. Who is crying? The same contravenant. Whoever Pishavand. John, as I'm saying, UPND, as a political party, we need to do more now. So don't complain when we sweep all the freedom away. Don't complain. Let's talk to Nathan Cappy, who's in Kitwe. Nathan, thank you for calling this day. Nathan, you're through to this day. Thank you for calling. You can go ahead and make your contribution. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Risoniso. Good evening, Nathan. Hey, I'm okay. Uh, my contribution is just like the previous caller. You know, there's no biteness, there's nothing like hatred, but we just have to tell the truth because we voted for the party because of the promises the UPND made, in fact, even the president. And I've heard you have said that uh, previously in the markets, people were paying my 10 quarter every day, so now they are saving. But to be honest with you, Mr. Chairman, is honest. No one can save that 10 quarter. It's nowhere to be seen. Currently, I've got my sister-in-law who sells in Sokol. She sells the Tenge material. She has been coming here complaining since the time the fuel prices were adjusted. She's saying where they are buying, they have increased. So even them, they have increased, you see, maybe five quarter, and people are not buying. When they go there, they ask about the price. They tell them. They are complaining, sir, that was stay, shadula. Meaning that they are coming home empty-handed. So when people say things are bad on the ground, try to go there and find out. And please take this message to the president. Tell him that, honestly, without even beating about the bush, things are expensive. Sugar now, 2 kg, is going at 64 kwacha. Ka, ka, ka 1 kg at 33 kwacha. Now, how do you expect people to survive? When they voted for a change, there must be change. So that's my contribution. All right. Thank, thank you, so you very much. much. Thanks a lot for your contribution. You can be a part of tonight's edition of this day. We'll take one more call, and uh, that will be a final contribution from our audience this evening. So you can call us on the number on your screen, and you'll get through to our guest tonight. We're talking to the UPND Youth Chairman, Gilbert Liswani. So we're talking about an array of issues, and one of them is the cost of doing business, the cost of living, and the fixing of the economy that should ideally be happening by the United Party for National development. But let me quickly take a look at some of the comments uh, on our social media platform on Facebook. Robert Chola says, just more freedom where cutters are harassing bus drivers on a daily basis. Um, there's another comment, and this one is from Cas Farm. It says, let, let you PND stop the electoral malpractice, let them practice democracy, just rather than talking. Uh, Kasfam also says, uh, another question for you. Do you see them winning the 2026 general election? Uh, which people are moving with you is a question. Poverty, uh, Ekaeka. The UPN, the only big mistake Zambians made was to give chance to HH to rule this country, Zambia. One would wonder why I have said so. The reason is HH never allowed to give chance to anyone in the UPND to compete for a seat as UPND president. He's a real master in lies, um, well, as the supremacy of the law doesn't allow P uh, someone who is not upright to hold the position of president. He's a master of propaganda. He tries by all means to accuse his opposition to the extent of persuading a lot of citizens to have faith in him, but already in the end, he's doing nothing to prove it. That's from Stanley Chongwe. A lot of things being said. Let, and me, I, and I, let, let, let me tell you first one, one thing. Uh, this country called Zambia with Prindaka in the HLM, creating a foundation for better Zambia. And when he was saying we need to fix these things, he was serious and all of us were serious. Lawlessness was something which everybody enjoyed. And if you are, you are immune with too much lawlessness, when things come now in a way which is supposed to be done, 
you feel like somebody is squeezing you. So I want to tell you, John, that Prenda Kaini never used propaganda. Even today, we are not using propaganda. We spoke the truth to the people of Zambia, what we intend to do and better the country of this country, the, 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 to better this country. At the end of the day, again, John, that it's the responsibility of every citizen to ensure that all of us collectively we have this challenge, which I've said, which was created by the same PF, which he wants to say. And even in opposition, these questions you were asking the same PF members, on this table we're asking. That's why we're given this mandate. And now Akain is driving this nation now, step by step, by collecting the mistakes which our colleagues did, which many Zambians were just saying, because everything was expensive. But now, Chipute, Ngachakugwila, Pochitula, Awechivava. And this is a situation we are facing all Finally, of Finally, uh, as we conclude the program today, the Catholic Church is warning that the issue of substance abuse among youths is a growing threat in the country's development. And I understand you are uh, uh, chairman in charge of youth within the United Party for National Development. How do we deal with uh, the ab substance abuse in the country that's ultimately leading to uh, potential high crime levels? It's worrying everywhere. Uh, these junkies, and I'm making even this appeal and agreeing with the church leaders because these young people coming from our own homes are we first of all, we have responsibility we as parents to talk to our own children. People are creating rehabilitation. Maybe they brought up of Gilbert Swanius was brought up in a village. So when you become stubborn, they send you to your, to your uncle who teach you lessons to become upright in your mind. Today, it's responsibility of the church, we politicians at school, teaching our children to, uh, to behave straight. Because most of these young people are not coming from the life, from the families which are poor, no. They are coming in the homes which are doing better. But we parents, we are failing now to guide our children, and that is our responsibility. But again, because there is a lot of attacks within our compounds, within our communities, because of the drugs, uh, because of groupings, I think as leaders now we need to take serious measures. Others are using an excuse to say because they were chased in the street, they were chased in the bus station because they cannot be stealing people's property using the excuse of what? Of employment, you know. And today my appeal goes to maybe to the army so that we wipe all these junkies all over. And then we parent to be following these young people wherever they are. Let's do that for once and for all. These junkies are bringing now problems that attack. We can only understand John when you go to a clinic. You understand the attacks of the people being attacked now. But we have no choice now. Maybe my appeal goes to the army now. Come in. The police will come and cancel them. Now come in to ensure that all the streets at night, people should move free at night. You can't be, get scared that I'm going to be beaten by somebody. He's going to get a phone. So number one, first, we parents have a responsibility to talk to our children. We have a responsibility. The church have a responsibility in a puppy to talk about it. Civil civil society organizers have a responsibility. We, the politicians ourselves, we have a right also to talk about it in our meetings every day by educating our own youth. They are coming from our homes. They stay well, but because they want to experience certain vices we come in now to keep that collectively all of us you cannot leave it within to leave it to the government alone but collectively all of us let's work together on the issue of junkies all of us so that right. we have free country at the end of the day thank you so much uh, upnd youth chairman Gubali Swaniso for joining us on tonight's edition of this day thank you for watching the program this evening my name is dingendava jonah bioya this is where we come to the conclusion watch the show tuesday and thursday at 21 15 hours good night